The MSC Construction Project Management is delivered in two modes, full-time on campus and distance learning. It is well received, it is a well-balanced course and um, recently we went through the institution-led subject review to make sure that the course that we are delivering meets the industry requirements. All the courses that they offer uh, were recognised by professionals in the industry. Well, the application process was really easy. Um, There's lots of people to ask about, lots of people to talk to. Um, the administration guys were really friendly and helpful with that. I won a scholarship of a Sutherland School of Architecture and Built Environment, which is also an inspiration for me to come for studies. I have served my time as a bricklayer uh, originally when I left school. Um, did that for a few years and decided that I was going to go and attend university to study construction design and management, which I did at Robert Gordon's at the Scott Sutherland School of Architecture and the Built Environment. I have considered going on to do further study at Robert Gordon University. It's been explored a couple of times in the past and I'm currently looking at it again to further my education. Well, the, the students that come here full-time get the benefit of uh, the investment that the university has put into the new campus. We move into the new building in September this year. Um, there's, a, there's quite a few good things, like the um, facilities are really good. Um, I think by far the best thing about it is the lecturers, course leaders and staff. They're all really approachable, all really helpful. Um, they want to make sure you understand all the work, which is great. So they just keep driving forward and you learn more and more and more. The more you want to learn, the more they help you. They have uh, ultra-modern uh, facilities to complement students' learning. In the, the distance learning mode, the university again has spent um, a, a big investment into the distance learning with a new distance learning coordinator and enhancing the, the offering there and getting into distance learning best practice and bringing that to the students. We're finding that in particularly in the overseas cohort that unless you have an MSc then you are um, passed over for promotion and we find that this is a must have for many, in many areas in the world. The skills that I developed while I was studying at RGU have helped tremendously in my career. Uh, I had the technical background before when I was working on sites, but the theoretical uh, in the construction side of project management and law and contracts and that is what I gained while I studied at RGU and I now use that on a daily basis in my, my career. Uh, Aberdeen, as the oil capital of Europe, has enjoyed a, a vibrant economic um, environment for the last few years, whereas the rest of the, the country has not. And that in turn has meant large construction companies coming to the area to construct some fairly major projects and has allowed us to give the students the opportunity to visit sites and see um, these big successful companies, how they work, and that transfers into the teaching on site. But it also looks at things like sustainable development and also the, the new building information modelling and in, in design information and design management. Just seeing uh, how, how things have changed at the school and how teaching methods have come with the times and how they're now teaching BIM and uh, that kind of integration and new kind of uh, technologies that have come on since, since I graduated. I have to take my family into account because um, I'm happily married with three children. Well, before I came here, there was lots of things I had to think about. Um, I had to continue doing a full-time job because I've got four kids that I had to look after. Um, so I had to try and work it around my full-time job. Coming for full-time course, it's not an easy decision for me. But I had to take it simply because it's a lifetime opportunity that so many people are, I mean, looking for. But again, the administration guys were really helpful with that because they gave me a, um, an idea of a timetable way in advance so I could plan my working life around that. So it made it really easy. Yeah, I started off as an assistant or trainee site manager and I've gradually over the years worked up and have progressed through various uh, values of projects and increased on to larger values and uh, been allowed to run projects myself. I think it's worthwhile being in Algeria for my career progression and employability in, because the courses offered gives the opportunity to practice and develop the professional skill that is sought after as a practicing construction project manager.
I would recommend a career in project management. I thoroughly enjoy what I do. It's different every single day. No two days are the same just by the nature of what we do. So I've already done lots of site visits, spoken to lots of different um, companies outside of IVU. So it's given me a good idea of what I want to do, how I want to do it, and getting lots of contacts. So hopefully I'll get a great job out of it. I look forward to securing an outstanding employment at the end of my program to work for some years and uh, later on establish my own construction project management firm. Uh, we've done quite a range of, of projects over my, my fairly short career to date and I really enjoy it.